is to find the angle or find the measure of x and for y. Now, what's very important about this Kiana is that we have a similarity statement. All right? And what the similarity statement states is triangle JKL is similar to triangle WYZ. This is so important because my drawings stink. It's not as easy for you guys to say, oh, it, it's like saying, oh, well, what does K represent? It doesn't, you can't like even look at these triangles and really be able to identify which angle goes with which angle. So the only thing we can rely on is my similarity statement, which says that, remember, when we say things are similar, we say things are congruent, we write them out in corresponding parts, all right? So we know that J is corresponding to W, K is corresponding to Y, and L is corresponding to Z. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Right? That's how we write our corresponding statements. Um, so let's look at J. J corresponds to W. Now, one thing to kind of understand this, I know in similarity, we, a lot of times when we look at similarity, the first thing we want to look at, you're about to be able to move up there, OK? With a bad tailbone or good. That's where you're going to sit. Um, so when we're thinking about similarity, the first thing you guys should be thinking about is usually ratios, right? Proportions, setting up a proportion, one thing similar to the next. Um, and congruency, we're always setting up equals. But or equations. But one thing I want to remind you guys of is let's pretend I have these two triangles and they're similar. If they have all three sides are equal, what does that say about the angles? Equal. All the angles are equal, right? These are similar triangles. So if all the angles are equal, then that's 60, 60, 60. Then what do the angles of these all have to be? 60, 60, 60. Because it doesn't matter how big or small the triangle is, the angle measure is always still going to add up to 180. And since these are both two equilateral triangles and equal angular, they're all going to be 60, 60, 60. So what I want you guys to understand is these two angles are corresponding to each other. So since they're corresponding and they're similar, these two angles are going to be equal in measure. These two angles are equal in measure. These two angles are equal in measure. So when we're trying to find these angles, I want to find the two angles that are corresponding to each other and set them equal to each other. So J corresponds to W. So J corresponds to W. So to find, what, to find X, all I simply need to do is say um, J is congruent to W. So 4X is equal to, I'm sorry, 4X minus 13 is equal to 71. Then I just solve for X. Add 13 on both sides. 4X equals 84. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. X equals bente uno. Now I need to figure out what L is, or I'm sorry, K. So I look at K corresponds to Y. But we notice we don't have that angle, do we? So the next thing I look at, Layla, I think I can move the desk forward over here. I have enough room. OK. So I don't know what that angle is, right? But I do know I have two other angles, and I know that all the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So therefore, I can say 44 plus 71 plus the measure of angle y equals 180 degrees. Add these two up, right? which is going to be 115 plus the measure of angle y equals 180. Measure of angle y equals 65 degrees. Couldn't you just do like 180 minus 71? Yes. Yes, you could. Absolutely. That would probably be the quicker way, too. So it really did that have to be like a t. Then, 65, so if that's 65, then that has to be 65, right? Because, I'm sorry, K. That is congruent to that. That is congruent to that. So if that's 65 degrees, that has to be 65 degrees. If that's 65 degrees, that has to be 65 degrees. So we can say that measure our, our sorry. So I can say angle K, angle K is congruent to angle Y. Well, that's going to be angle. Um, that's y is equal to 65 degrees. And I know the y's might confuse you a little bit because one is an angle y and one is a variable y. But you should have 65 degrees for y and 21 degrees for x. Oh, I'm sorry, just the variable 21. Um, yeah, I guess you could say in, in degrees and 21 for that. Okay, so give yourself an M A T or H. Um, before you go to lunch, I'd like to see is there any. Preguntas o 